Hello everybody, River City Reactor here. I got a few comments on the last video. People wanted to see more Wren, specifically the tale of Jenny and Screech was mentioned. Let's see what this is, sounds interesting. We know he's very talented, artistically, musically, plays the piano, the guitar, and, and the acts and looks like everything extremely well. A real artist. So let's get into this one and see what this tale of Virginia and Screech is all about. like this video was also shot in one take it appears the way he leaned into that door and it clanged very impressive he's doing these in one shot with the guitar playing and the singing and everything else wow <laughs> It was a quiet, dark night in an empty street somewhere in the city. Jenny walked alone, she was dragging her feet. She was heading back home to sleep. Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor because she walked it about a thousand times before she wanted to escape. Can you blame? Well, on the very same night, in a different place, there walked this hooded young youth by the name of James. He was 14 years old, and out of his brain, he'd been smoking ganja with the boys. James, he grew up to be a kid of the street. His mates called him Screech, he was quick on his feet. He was a liar, a thief. At 14 years old, the devil had set his sights on his soul. Okay, so let's talk about Jenny at first, walking home alone. Not afraid because she's walked that street a thousand times and then they're talking about this kid James I guess his nickname is Screech he sounds like he's trouble and he's nearby so let's see what happens here Ooh. as Jenny walked home all along she felt scared usually she was a right but it was like there was something in the air a divine intervention telling her to beware maybe intuition bogging her and making her so scared sirens sound in the distance to the beat of Jenny's feet a symphony of the night that echoes crime on London streets Jenny turns a corner their eyes they meet a poor girl Jenny a boy named Screech give me all your money bitch give it to me if you cooperate then you'll soon be free I want your purse your phone don't fucking look at me I mean it, bitch. Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite. Wow. Sounds like Screech is mugging her or something. She had right to be afraid to walk this street this night. And now it sounds like she's scared and frozen and can't move out of fear. I mean it, bitch. Are you listening to me? Jenny freezes statue like a lady shakes stalactite Fear like liquid nitrogen in the dark night She tried to find strength to move But stayed as still as a statue in high-heeled shoes What the hell are you playing at? You playing games with me? I swear to fucking God I'll slice the rosy off your cheeks You think I don't mean it, girl? You don't know me? The last thing you see will be a boy called Screech reach with the sheath of the blade with the teeth of... Oh, wow. He was seamlessly moved from one line and cadence into another ending with his name and starting with the same one that was an interesting switch there thing you see will be a boy called screech reach with the sheep that the blade with the teeth that could bite through steel and slice concrete and he swung possessed with the devil in his chest and the statue she was turned to butter in her breath mm -hmm. It was a quiet dark night in an empty street somewhere at London City. Jenny lay still on the cold concrete. She's found somewhere to sleep. 
Well, she knew this town, she knew this floor, cause she'd walked it about a thousand times before. I guess that she escaped. Wow. He says she escaped. But we know that really means that she was killed by Screech. Wow. This is quite a journey here. It's giving me chills. A thousand times before, I guess that she escaped. It's such a shame. This is different. Well, the bottom says we're on Screech now. It okay, must be split in different parts here. It's definitely a different, slightly different location and different look to this video. We'll see what happens here. <laughs> Screech's tail, okay. Our story, it starts right at the end of the life of poor Jenny, clocked out like Big Ben. Hmm. Wow, it's the life of poor Jenny clocked out like Big Ben. Going back to just letting you know that she's no longer alive. Quite an interesting way to say that. Well, poor Jenny clocked out like Big Ben. They screech, dear boy, where did he go? He melted into the black night just like snow. Wow. Patrick, man, let me in, please open the door. I think I fucked up, Patrick, really fucked up, man, I'm not sure. I got crazy, left this lady lying still on the floor. I think I killed her, Patrick, come on, man, I can't knock no more. But Screech kept on knocking till his knuckles became sore. But there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. That was really interesting, using the guitar to knock on the door. Just him and the guitar, this whole thing, is just fascinating. Sounds like Patrick isn't answering. So we'll see what he's gonna do next. Knuckles became sore, but there's no sign of Patrick down at number 54. No refuge for our villain, for the bitter hands of fate. With something far more sinister in mind, it does away. Wow. I get out of cell phone. Hey, babe. You in? No, nothing really. I'm just a bit tired. Listen, can I swing around yours for a few moments? I just really miss you, babe. What the fuck do you mean you're busy? You fucking bitch! For fuck's sakes! Wow. Sounds like the girlfriend's not Siren gonna sounds either. approaching like a banshee in the night. The shrill cry of justice cutting like the sharpest knife. But Screech was never one to run, not one to miss a fight. One hand upon his blade, he turned to face the blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. Wow. Now Screech is going to take on the police officers. Wow. He really has gone crazy and doesn't know what to do. The blue lights. Come on then, you fucking cunts, let's fucking have you then. I am Screech, I'm the boss, I'm the ender of men. You think that uniform you're wearing means that you own these streets? These are my fucking streets, and they call me fucking Screech. Richard was an officer who stood at six foot three. Working London on the night shift, what he didn't think he'd see. Was a boy running at him like an animal possessed. 
With no time to hesitate, he fired four bullets at Screech's chest. Wow. Just wow with the guitar. Turned into a gun. I gotta see that again. That was. That's just incredible how they can do this. His chest. The camera shakes. Wow. Ah, story. Ends right at the start. Young Screech and poor Jenny lying one street apart. One street apart. An officer shaken by the boy that he claimed. Two bodies lay lifeless, and it's such a shame. Wow. Two bodies lay lifeless, a street apart. And it's such a shame. This is quite a story. I'm fully engrossed on what's going on here. Let's see what happens here. Wow. This is incredible. It's such a shame. Violet's tail, okay. Back in the hospital again. Looks like the other video. I'm not sure what's going on here. It doesn't even say Violet in the title. So let's see what Violet's tail is about. guitar, especially an acoustic guitar, has got to be incredibly challenging. All that finger picking up there on the on the neck. That, let's see that again. That's incredible. He's an outstanding guitar player, obviously. <laughs> To set the scene, we must rewind the hands of time for Violet's tale. Wow. The rewind there on the guitar was awesome. Sounds like 2005, talking about 2005, I'm guessing, is where Violet's tale is at, starting off here. It sounds like she's not doing well already. Let's get that rewind one more time and get to it here. Time for Violet's Tale.
Violet was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he... I can hear the echo in this hallway. Once again, proving it was done live in one take. Wow. Let's hear the story again of Violet starting off. Was a silent girl, grew up with violent starts. Her mother was a drinker and her father was a bastard. Every night he took a tie but never left the room. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Ooh. Oh, that's horrifying. Her father tucked her in but didn't leave the room. And I'll spare you with the details. Wow, that is chilling, awful, and chilling. And says the mother was a drunk and probably knew what was going on. Wow, this Violet sounds like the worst story of all of them here starting off. I'll spare you with the things he did, I'm sure her mother knew. Violet was a silent girl, she moved out at 16 A semi-detached council flat, paid for by a welfare scheme Packing shelves at Tesco, stacking jars like pickled bricks She met a boy named Stevie and he was a little prick Violet was a silent girl and Violet she fell fast See Stevie was a wrong man but he sure knew how to charm her Every night he took a tie but never left the room Wow Wow Violet found a boyfriend when she moved out at 16 And it sounded like he did the same things her father did when she was living there Wow this is a horrible story. Absolutely horrible. Every night he took a tie, but never left the room. History repeats itself. He paint her black and blue and dark. She never stood a chance. The devil comes to dance. Violet. Why are you always so quiet? On her bedroom door and he's irate. He's been drinking and smoking, he's up late. And he stands by her bedside, she shakes. But her eyes stay shut. You fucking slut, I know you're up. And he pinches her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She's... Wow. Now he's playing this crazy role of the boyfriend. Opening her eyelids, saying she's lying. What she's trying to hide from all this, it sounds like. Which is her eyelids and folds them up. Violet, why are you lying to me, Violet? She stays silent, things turn violent. That's the sound of his fists when they fall like a crashing Ooh. pilot. Hit like hailstones, one to the collarbone, full force, full blown, blood splat, bone crack, knick knack, paddy whack, one to the jaw and the tooth spat, detached fist connects and disconnects a bone. A quick deflect to misdirect the blow, but nonetheless his punches met her throat. Such a mess he's left the bruised and. Ooh. He sounds like she's got the life beaten out of her. Literally. Again, using the guitar to show those. Beatings. Unbelievable. The blow, but nonetheless, his punches met her throat. Such a mess, he's left the bruised and broke. Violet, why are you always so silent, Violet? Why are you such a little liar, Violet? Do you think I want to do this, Violet? In character, she stays silent. Well, say something, Violet. Silence. Fucking say something, Violet. Silence. Of course she's silent. She's probably Wait. not alive anymore. Say something, Violet. Not one word. She stays quiet.
London City, far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington is fighting just to stay alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. Sounds like she's still alive. Wow. Again, this is an incredible story that he's telling and acting and doing everything with. Let's see a little bit left. Let's see how this ends. Alive. The doctor, in a state of shock, saw something here so very wrong. See, Violet, she was pregnant. Poor Violet, she was nine months gone. Turning to the doctor, Violet broke her silence and she cried. If I'm to die right here tonight, please let my baby stay alive. The doctor soon regained composure, called the surgeon to come in. As Violet's world turned to black, the curtains closed, the lights went dim in London City. Far from pretty, 2005. A lady down in Paddington just lost the fight to stay alive. Mm. A tragedy or a miracle, it happened on these very streets. Two twins, twins. aligned side by side. A girl named Jenny and a boy named Screech. Wow. There's almost tears coming in my eyes. That was, I don't know what to say. It circled back around totally unexpectedly. Wow. Jenny and Screech were Violet's twins. So that means Screech killed his own sister in the first part. Wow. I mean, since it said that he was 14, she would have been 14. 2005. I'm not sure when this came out, but that time is about right. Wow. That was definitely a shocking ending. The tale of Jenny and Screech and Violet, obviously. Violet started it all, but she was silent, statue-like, and that's what Jenny turned into. And Screech turned out to be like his father, I guess, a horrible human being, full of hate and anger. Wow. Well, I'm glad this was suggested. This was quite a tale. This is more than a tale. This was an unbelievable journey from beginning to end. Hope you enjoyed this journey as much as I did. Until next time, this is River City Reactor. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.